Well, two Helena veterans, Master Sergeant Timothy Peters and Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Corey Cena, received the 2021 Montana Governor's Veteran Commendation on Monday. The commendation recognizes outstanding Montana veterans who served in uniform and then went on to serve in their communities. Governor Greg Gianforte awarded the commendation to 31 veterans in 2021. Cena served in the Army. He now volunteers with the American Legion, Helena Food Share, and other charitable organizations. Peters served in the Air Force and now works for the VFW, providing services to veterans across the state. Our veterans have a myriad of challenges. We just got the uh, president just signed the PACT Act in law, which is going to help the VA take care of a lot of our veterans. But we still have a way too high suicide rate that we need to uh, have our communities more understand the, uh, the troubles that are going on inside of the veterans' head just because a person might not act the way you think they should doesn't mean that they don't need help. Some Montana employers likely have a greater appreciation for the National Guard, especially the Air National Guard. It's thanks to what's known as the boss lift. MTN's Coulter Anstat was lucky enough to participate and spoke to Guard members and an employer about the importance of the event. As the C-130 took off from the Montana Air National Guard, about two dozen representatives from businesses around Montana were on board. My husband's cousin is in the Guard up here, and he asked if we wanted to come do this because it was for um, supporting them. Mariel Stone, representing Stone's Black Rock Cattle, was one of them. I wish there was time to just follow them around for a day. The flight lasted about an hour and included a pass over the Chinese Wall. Getting to watch the cargo ramp lowered midair. And spending a few minutes in the cockpit. The purpose of the flight is to show appreciation to employers who have guard members working for them. We have good people up here. Brule Dixon is a Brigadier General with the Guard. We like their, their employers downtown to see the same uh, of what we do up here. That gives a better understanding if we need to deploy our airmen somewhere, that the, the employer understands what we're doing and uh, we're not just taking them away from no reason from their job. As an employer, to employ somebody from the Guard, you have to be able to uh, work around their schedule and to see how many people do that, to see uh, the sacrifices that they do make to be able to let the Guardsmen come up here and do their thing or go out on a mission or get deployed is... It's pretty, um, it's pretty neat to see that. For Guard member Captain Tammy Wager, the flight was extra special. One of her bosses, who came all the way from Minneapolis, was on board. It's an amazing opportunity. I've had the chance to do it three other times, and they're all SkyWest employees of my bosses. Not all bosses really know what a Guardsman does, or even if there's a Guard other than an active duty. Uh, bases that are out there and giving them the opportunity to come fly with us and see what we do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, strengthens our relationship. Along with building relationships, the boss lift is also a recruiting tool for the Guard. It's a great rec recruiting tool because we really want to get our word out there that we are always looking for men and women to join our unit and we would love for these civilian employers to tell their employees that we exist and that we have a lot of benefits that can really help them. The flight would certainly be a good conversation start. In Great Falls, Colter Instat, MTN News.